day 38. Well, in a strange and potentially terrifying turn of events, I had to wake Nightcrawler up this morning. We have less than um, 20 miles to get to Coombers Pass to um, collect a ride to Chana. He'll finally get to use his hitching tie back. So he chose to sleep in, which is awesome because he's not freezing this morning walking and I'm not freezing trying to sleep in this tent without him because it gets so cold. But yeah, he hit the snooze button twice and I was finally like, we have to get out. We got to get out of here. So anyway, Chama today, the end of New Mexico today. Oh my goodness, it's kind of exciting. So hopefully we'll get to the pass at a reasonable time so we can hitch into town and uh, find a place to get ourselves collected and uh, figure out how we're going to deal with Colorado. Um, we have, uh, I think I have a, some packages at the post office. We have to resupply. And uh, we're actually not even clear exactly which route we're going to take yet um, to avoid um, having to try to do mountaineering because we're not mountaineers, we're hikers. So we'll see. But in the meantime, we'll finish packing up and <sighs> we have items. I have not ever seen his outside collection or array of things in the day before because it's usually dark when he does this. And I'm like, oh my God, hiker trash still life. Check this out. Just little everything. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> we'll see on trail. So we're still having to deal with a little bit of snow this morning, but nothing nearly as bad as last evening. And on the plus side, the sun is coming up, not going down. And it's clear skies and no wind yet. Thank goodness. Hopefully it'll stay that way till we get to the pass. That would be awesome. Hopefully the weather gods will cooperate. Oh my goodness, it's just beautiful out here though this morning. Heck. Alpine glory in mid frickin' June. <sighs> oh. There's some elk running across the road. Ooh. It is so beautiful out here. I love this river. It's like super sneaky. It's just relaxing to look at it. And it's like making like calm, bubbling noises. Uh, if it wasn't soaking wet and or the beginning of the day, it would be a nice place to just like go take a nap by that. Listen to that sound of melting snow. Take a break from walking in the mud. Up on the road, three miles to the Colorado border, but for us about another 10. Still pretty close, pretty close. So within two tenths of a mile, we already got like way off trail. Uh, this is why we chose to do the road yesterday. I, not a lot of people have actually walked the trail this year on the trail. So it's not as easy to find. And there was a switchback that was probably covered in snow. We totally missed. Hi. Could be a longer 10 miles than we thought. But we're getting there anyway. So you might be wondering how it's so easy to get lost in a little snow patch in a blank field. Well, it's because the trail does this shit. It's an empty field. Why is it undulating all over the place? It could just go straight, but no. There will be curves under these snow patches, and the next thing we know, we're on the wrong side of the hill. 
what the hell? That just cracks me up. I'm trying to give you like an idyllic nature experience. I mean, there's like no reason whatsoever for these curves. They're not do providing any erosion control. Cows eat here, sit here. So it's not like they're trying to protect or preserve the clump grass that we're walking on. It's just basically for aesthetic purposes and to get you lost when it's all entirely covered with snow. But there's still plenty of snow out here. So that means plenty more opportunities to get lost. Just made those last 10 miles that much more exciting. Trail's a water source now. It's kind of exciting. I feel like the cleanest water we've collected in the last, I don't know, several years or so has been like just snow runoff. Like all the water we've taken out of like creeks and streams and like the things like that has had kind of a yellowish tint to it. But this snow melt water, clear as crystal. Crazy. All right, where's this trail even go now? Ugh, good grief. All right, onward. This lovely alpine view, complete with what it looks like a happy glacier over there, brought to you by northern New Mexico in mid-June. Oh, I wonder if we're going up there. That's going to be cold. <laughs> Hooray for summer. This behemoth is marked as a stream on gut hook that we have to cross. It's like, no, I don't want to. I don't want to. What is this trail? This is not our trail, but looky, hooray. I'm afraid it already went super muddy, but I mean, come on. There you get super, super cold in there. Maybe if there's cover down there, it might be a good place to have second coffee. So it's too freezing cold and arctic windy down here to have second coffee. There's no cover. And the next water is in like six miles because I'm going to start climbing now. So I'm going to grab some water and then go up into the trees where there's cover and have our Second coffee, yay, I can't wait. I'm so glad that we don't have to cross this stream on the water. I mean, it's this mess. Super pretty though. And like, this isn't even a stream, it was like a river. Now for desert people, this is a river, for sure. Oh crap, guess we do have to cross that stream. Not on the bridge, this bridge is not the trail. Mer. Also, there's no trees or cover on this hill. Maybe we can park up on this, by this rock, or that rock. Yeah, it's windy. Damn it, thwarted again. Next time. This is Nightcrawler's ingenious use of historic trash. When he's not packing it out, he's making it work for him. Nicely done. Even though it's sunny, and there are no clouds in the sky, and we're about to climb. I still have to put my windbreaker and balaclava back on because there's an arctic fucking wind. Oh my god. Of course it's a headwind. It's coming right for us. Good grief, New Mexico is not letting us go without a fight. So the trail wants us to cross there. The worst place so we're gonna go back and take the bridge anyway and just walk over because the trail actually goes up there. So we only have to cross once. Hopefully we can cross up there where it's a little less dodgy because oh my God, I do not want to walk through that. That was ridiculous. So now we're just picking our way through these lumps of snow that are mostly soft and uh, trying to at least approximate the trail. But at least it's not freezing cold over here because it's got sun. So that's nice. Took my windbreaker and balaclava back off. But yeah, post holding uphill. 
little exhausting. <laughs> Too bad it's not downhill. We could totally slide down it on our sleep pads. But not today, not today. Oh my goodness. Up to my calves. <sighs> Found the trail. <laughs> it's somewhere in this snowy mess. <sighs> At least the snow is staying pretty solid right now, so that's awesome. But we gotta get off this hill. Still on trail. Just kidding, we're barely on trail, but hey, if you find a blaze, celebrate. So I made it to the top of the climb, well, almost to the top of the climb. We kind of cheated a little bit by doing a little off-track bushwhacking, but we're still at over 11,000 feet, and it is just snow, snow, snow. There's no trail, so it's choose your own adventure, but it's mostly downhill from here, only less than five miles to the border, and only 400 feet left of climbing in that entire time. The rest is like over a thousand feet of down, so hopefully we'll get down out of the snow, like this much snow, to where we can at least find some trail because the pulling out the gut hook every three to five minutes to like assess where you are relative to the trail is exhausting and so is walking through snow. And it's nerve wracking too, because you don't really know how solid the snow is. Some of it's slushier than others. And there, um, you know, there's definitely melted patches around some of the trees and, and down trees and snapped off trees. So really don't care to impale ourselves on anything out here. We are not vampires, even though we are sitting in the shade right now. Maybe we are vampires. But anyway, less than 10 miles to the pass and it's only just afternoon. And this is a beautiful day out here, oh my goodness. But somebody needs to get some sunglasses because otherwise I'm gonna have to lead him around. Mm. There he is. That could get ugly, that could get ugly. He's feisty, he's a really unwieldy character, I gotta say. <laughs> <laughs> It is just gorgeous up here. We found the trail again. Oh my goodness. Beautiful, beautiful day. And about a quarter mile, we're supposed to turn onto a dirt road, which I imagine probably doesn't exist right now because we're still too high. I think it'll be buried, but hopefully it'll be a more chill grade, which would be nice. Oh my god, the sun feels great. Well, we found our dirt road. It's not very dirt. But it's easy to follow. Yep, this is hard. Oof. Definitely definitely gonna need a giant cheeseburger. <sighs> that was brutal, but damn! It's pretty out here. Pretty snowy. <laughs> Well, we have a little section of trail. We're descending, but not quickly enough. We're still gonna be dealing with this for a while. Oh my goodness. Ooh, I wanna go walk over the air. Hmm, maybe. Wouldn't that be nice? Ooh, I see a lot of snowy cap mountains in the far off distance. Uh, in the meantime, I'm totally loving this dirt and these weird tubes that are everywhere. I don't know what these tubes are. They're all over the place, but they're, they're kind of fun. It reminds me of like a video game, that video game with the pipes. I can't remember what it's called. While the walking on the snow was all fun and games while I was on a road and flat, but now we're in the middle of on, we're trying to find the trail. We can't find it. 
it's above us somewhere but it basically contours around this mountain and then goes steeply down so it's dodgy as hell out here because there is no trail and there are blowdowns everywhere and holes I've fallen at least a half dozen times yeah, and my because sh my shoes have no traction that certainly doesn't help but we're gonna try and make our way around hopefully get to Dixie Creek then there's a small climb back up the borders in like a mile and a half oh my god but then we still have like four four and a half miles of Colorado to do which I hope is a little bit more chill but I doubt it Ugh. can't wait to get there so after the bushwhack and snow crazed madness from hell we finally found the trail we found one bend of it and then it goes back into snow on the trail the border is only 0.4 away but we're just gonna straight shot it because there's no point in continuing to try and find the trail when it's completely buried under snow it's getting late we gotta get out of here so hopefully that's our next stop. Yay! I'll let you know. Ah, barbed wire fence must be leaving New Mexico. Oh my god! Entering, you know, we're leaving the Carson National Get Forest. Get back in New Mexico. <laughs> and we're entering the Rio Grande National Forest in Colorado. Oh my god! Yay! Finally! Yay. We are in state number two. <sighs> Congratulations to us. We're going to sit down and celebrate for a minute. Mostly just because we hurt. Well, we made it. Alright, New Mexico. I love you. You're a mean, nasty bitch. I kind of like it, but I'm over it for now. Let's go see what green Colorado's got in store. Hopefully a little less snow, but Right now I'm looking at the trail in front of us and it's not looking good. So hopefully if we do the Great Divide alternate to get a full northbound through, it'll be a little more chill than what we've dealt with today already. Because damn, I can't do that all day long every day for the next several weeks. That was just ridiculous. Oh, but I'm excited to see. I'm excited to be at a new state. I love hitting borders. So state one down, four to go. All right. All right. Welcome to Colorado. Yeah. Come on. We had one job. Well, the trail in Colorado, moist, snowy, and we have mosquitoes. We have mosquitoes. Mosquitoes have been confirmed. Phew. No, but we just went off track a little bit. The trail makes like a big, like three quarters of a rectangle. It was all under snow, so we just cut that off. And we found the trail again. So, oh, enjoying playing with navigation on the CDT. And we weren't even the only ones. I've always found though, like whenever I'm lost or we get off trail or wander off in the wrong direction, invariably somebody else has to. So every single time somebody else has done the same thing. So I don't feel so bad, you know? We're out here lost again. Ooh, so green, so pretty. And I love Colorado. The mountains here are spectacular. So made it to Colorado. Guess what? It's still windy. What the hell, Colorado? Get one job. Not be New Mexico. So far, there's Highway 17, the road to Chama, yay! And above it is the uh, Coombers-Toltec Railroad track. 
there's the station over there. Oh my goodness. I am so glad to have today be almost over. I am ready to be done walking for a minute. We haven't taken a full day off from hiking since Grant's and only once. That's, that was the only time in the last 30 days. It's time. It's time for a zero. A zero that counts where we actually rest. I can't wait. Well, too soon. I thought we were done with this for now, but nope. Gotta deal with this before getting down the hill. Ah, no more snow. So I just took my shoes off a little bit ago and I have all of these tiny holes in my feet and most of them look like they have something embedded in them, like dirt or gravel or something like that. I had no idea. It itches now. This is a drag. Oh my goodness, I had no idea. My feet have been wet and soaking all day and frozen frequently. But it didn't feel bad. But I had no idea this was going on. This foot's way worse than the other one. The other one's not that bad, but holy crap. And it probably would have been a good idea to take a break and take the shoes and socks off at some point today because basically went for like 12 hours without stopping, really, just because it wasn't trail really amenable to stopping for longer than a wee sit. We didn't even have lunch today. So hopefully this will clear itself up or once I get into a good shower, it'll, uh, the brown, the black spots and brown spots will disappear, but a little alarming. Oh, goodness. Yep. Through hiking. Yay. We are recreating for fun. You would just never know it sometimes. So we're camping on the side of Highway 17. Because it was late when we got here, but we have an awesome fire and I am having my last packet gourmet meal that Elizabeth on the trail sent. The mini bean salad. Uh, it takes 90 minutes to make. I couldn't wait quite that long, so. But it looks delicious. Like, oh my goodness. Look at all that healthy goodness in there. Five bean salad. Should be a fun night. Okay, that was delicious. I gotta say, all of these meals from Packet Gourmet have been fantastic. And the 90 minute ones definitely take a little more planning than I'm used to. And a little more patience, maybe, than I have. But, oh my god, they're delicious. We got, uh, I think, five meals and two desserts. Each one of them is definitely the best trail food I've ever had. Um, thanks again, Elizabeth, on the trail. And I definitely recommend Packet Gourmet. Because, oh my god. But now we're spoiled, so this could become a problem. Hmm. We'll figure it out.